and welcome to this episode of F1 TV's Tech Talk with me, Rosanna Tennant, and Albert Fabregag. Hi, Great Rosanna. to see you. How are My you pleasure. doing? All good. Very well, thank you. And I'm looking forward to this yeah. week's oh. tech demo. Definitely, because we're going to be looking at the similarities between a Formula One car, and stay with me on this, a human skeleton. Yeah. Albert, well. what? Where? Why? That's a good question, and I hope at the end of this uh, show you will have the same smile uh, on your face. I'm not, uh -oh. I'm not 100% sure. First of all, this is going to be toxic, so we have to take some protection. I brought some uh, masks toxic? for you. Yeah. I haven't signed enough contracts. Yeah, uh, sorry. Because what I'm going to show you... Oh, Albert! Yeah, that's my insole. Okay, freshly yeah. worn. Yeah. Or not so freshly no, no. worn. <laughs> not fresh. Because I have a problem with my body, that I have a, a leg that is shorter than the other one. Which actually it's, a lot of people have, don't yeah. they? Yeah. So uh, I cannot adjust my bones. I cannot make my bones longer. So what I have to do is to put this special insole that is a little bit uh, A bit bungy, higher. a little yeah. bit thick, yeah. And it makes my my bone a little bit, uh, or my it leg a little bit up. longer. So I can balance my, my weight. So I'm setting up my body to have a perfect balance so I can move in, in a better manner. And uh, don't happen this to me. Because if you see, this is the, the shoe I used uh, last year. So that's all worn away it because of the way the back you walk. And at the front, is not uh, the, wear, the wear is different on one side to the other. So I would need a proper, a proper setup. And if we could do it, if we could adjust the bonds. On I the can't believe we're wearing a mask yeah. for your stinky <laughs> insole. It's so, it's so nice. If we could adjust, adjust the bonds, we could do a proper setup on our bodies. I'm sure we will have a better uh, behavior on our side. Do you run? Do you jogging? Oh, well, yes. I mean, some would call it running, some would call it jogging. Sometimes it's almost crawling, but so, uh, I try. Yeah, for example, if you run on the mountain where there is a lot of holes, stones and everything, I will put a softer springs on your knee so you can absorb <gasps> better the energy and you can keep your body a little bit more balanced without a lot Rather of than hurting shaking. your kneecap. But your, if you go running here over the tarmac, I will put a stiffer knees so you can feel better and you can have a, can you can have a better pressure. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm taking it off. Now we've, we've got rid of that. <laughs> but if you hill climb, climbing, for example, climbing, climbing, yes, absolutely. I will move, move your hip a little bit forward, Slightly forward so yeah. to move the, your and weight the balance, yeah, so you can climb a little bit better. If you are running and taking very tight corners, I will put your feet a little bit like this, so whenever, like this, so whenever you arrive to the corner, you have the feet completely pla flat when you're moving your, your way to the... So to you the, keep your contact patch yeah. exactly where yeah, it should be. Exactly. Oh. So we can set, if we could set and extend the bones, we could do a fantastic setup on the bodies, depending could, on the conditions that are not, not always the same. We could all be elite athletes. Yes. Absolutely. So how does this relate to a Formula One yeah, car? It's exactly the same thing. The uh, teams setting up the car, depending on the conditions and depending uh, on the tracks, the tarmac, how is the condition on the tarmac, if it's bumpy, it's not bumpy, if it's aggressive, it's not aggressive, if you have corner, uh, tight corners or high speed corners, you choose to set the car up to get the best of the performance, balancing the car as, as better as you can. And we've spoken about our feet. Yes. Well, I'm imagining then the, yeah. the feet of the car, it it's is, the tires. Yeah, it is what is touching on the floor. So uh, the teams are working a lot on the cars to get and to put the tires on the optimum range of working temperatures, but also to have the better patch on the floor. So when they are taking a corner, high speed corner, they have a solid and a bigger patch on the floor so they can get the maximum grip. This is one of the things, most of the things, a lot of things, they're touching on the setup, but the tire is very important. So our shoes, the shoes of the car, is very important to have a, a better patch on the, on the floor. And that's how the drivers feel, don't yeah. they, as they're driving the car as well. But do you want me to bring you into the garage to, to feel a 3D experience Absolutely. with... Absolutely, are we going in the garage here? Yeah, that's... A, uh, what? Yes. Augmented will, reality, here yes. I come. Where am I that's, going? Yeah. Where am I going? Yeah. Can you feel something? Other, I'm exactly where, where I was about a second ago. <laughs> what am I meant to see? Well, uh, no, sorry. It's, it's such a trickster. It's, it's not, uh, it's not a <laughs> electronic we'll fix one. fix those later. But, Look right, at well, this. what have we got here? We, we got... want to try to explain what's the most common things that the teams are doing when they are setting up the car. These are the bones of the car. We the have legs. The, the legs. The legs. Yes, the which ones are the bones, are the legs. Because we have the feet, that is the tires, and now we have the legs. And this is our body. So we need, we can adjust them to try to maximize the performance of 
the car. We've got half an Aston, half a Red yep. Bull. And do you know what? This Immediately, is a front end. Everybody thinks that those cars are identical, but I'm already seeing differences, Albert. That's a good point, Rosanna, because uh, one of the big differences, or one of the more, the, a lot of difference that is between both cars is the suspension, push rod on the Aston Martin, awesome. pull rod Top. On, the, on the Red Bull. That's a detail that I want to explain. But the most important thing is that we are in the garage. And the first thing the teams do is to do a completely flat area in the garage because some garages you know it's like this the other ones have a, a ramp to the left the other ones to the right they are sleeping not they completely could sleep. flat so we need a completely flat area where the teams can measure the car and we we talk about the tire the tire is is a rubber it changes with the temperature so uh, with the pressure it has rounded areas everywhere so it's difficult to measure so it can create a confusion when we measure the car so what so do we do? What they do? Flat area and they do setup wheels. That is ah. recreating what is a tire. And they so it touches exactly in the same way on exactly the floor. Exactly, all time. And then it's rigid, it's metallic. So every time they put the setup wheels instead of the wheels, they are sure that are measuring in the same point, in the same uh, way. So always the measure is very important to try to replicate all time. Setting up, setting down, whatever they do, to be sure that when they are measuring something, they get the right measure. So there's so it's always a important. constant. And these come to every race and it just helps to set that, yeah. that measurement. You know the, the FIA bridge? Yeah, that, the weight bridge, absolutely. Ah, the weight bridge, yeah. That carbon platform that is completely flat. This is what the teams are trying to do. They don't bring a completely full thing. They just have a, a, a piece under the wheels and they adjust it with a laser to have a flat area where they measure the car when they do set the set up. And they are sitting on yeah. some weighing scales. Scales, yeah, because mm -hmm. the weight is very important. We have two weights. The one that they measure to see to know that uh, is the same weight left to right mm -hmm. because it's very important. It's not symmetric. They try to, but are not symmetric. But they try to have always the same weight. The cross weight, left, front left, and uh, rear right, and the cross weight must be as close as possible. But let's go to see what they normally do on the garage. What yes. we will see while they are working on the car, right height, and and now. It's more important because it's not only a balance on the suspensions and the feeling on the mechanical thing, it's aerodynamics because if you change the right heights, you change the behavior or the performance of the floor, and the ground effect. And it's particularly important this year, isn't it? Because we've got these ground effect cars Yes, now. and they're trying to go on as, as low as possible till they start touching, till they start bouncing. Well, there's a lot of uh, Robote, as work you would on say that. in Spanish. But, and how they check and how they change the right heights, very easy. This is a pull or a push rod, it doesn't matter, depending on how you put it on the car. Yeah. This is a real one. And what they do is just to change the length. You remember we said that we If we could, could extend our legs, yeah. yeah. Easy. You extend, I'd like to contract mine. You extend possible. the push rod, you put the car higher. Yes. And you, if it's a pull, you have to shorten it to get the car higher because it's going on the other way. But the, the thing, important thing is that you change in the extension of the pull of, of the push, you change in the right height of the car. Okay. How do you measure that? Very easy. We have points here on the tires. Yeah. We can do it in two ways. We put it here and then we measure this point and this point, or we fix it here on the frame and then we measure here and there. So we know the exactly right height of each side. It's important to be flat. And everyone's mainly doing on, the front. on all sides, mainly on the front, but at the yep. back as well. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay, what what's, what's next on the job list then? Another thing that they change a lot during a free practice or before the qualifying. Once the qualifying is started, Setup must be fixed. Fixed. You cannot Part change firming it. conditions. Springs and anti roll bars. Anti roll bars. bars. Yes. Yeah, this changes the rigidity, rigidity of the suspension, the roll, the front to the rear, the vertical, everything that is related to suspensions, they change it. Changing. And that's like we were talking about when we're running and we want to be a bit softer if it's yep. harder ground. Yeah, and that's, yes. the, that's the spring they use. This is not a conventional spring, it's not a liquid spring, it's a torsion bar. It's uh, the same thing because if I apply a rotation in one side, I fix the other one. It's just like in a spring and it goes back. So, so this is what the, they used to, to uh, do or they use in the cars. We will see them changing very often. Springs, anti-roll bars as well that goes on the front and the rear. Uh, and the third spring, the hip spring that connecting the two roads. But this is more complicated, so we are not going to get Probably uh, a deep on it. demo another time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else? A thing that now is not that common to change is camber. And the actually, camber, Pirelli tell them how they should run it, don't they? Exactly, you got the point there. The camber is the angle that the wheel is creating to the floor. So we have more, less, 
Now it's limited, so we don't change it too much. Another thing that is limited. Weight distribution. Weight distribution. Uh -oh. Before they change it a lot, now the regulations are limiting it. So weight distribution, they are still changing it. And mainly because they are over the weight, or very, very limited yes. over the weight. A lot so of teams struggling to find the, the weight Not working too much on the weight distribution. And I think that they adjust. Are but we back to the skeleton? Yeah. <laughs> Not change too much, the toe. The, the toe, toe is like this. You remember the Mercedes? The Mercedes, absolutely, Good. the DAS. Yeah, the DAS. It's, it was changing during a lap. So they normally don't change it uh, during a weekend. It's quite fixed. But if you don't set it up properly, then the, the driver is complaining that he has the, on the streets, the, the wheel is not uh, completely straight. straight. Though, so they need God, to check it properly. there's lots to be thinking about. Yeah. And Many thousands other of more things. Exactly. We just uh, fix it here just to explain you how they do it. Well, it is fascinating. And the final one. One more thing. Yeah. When they have everything set it up and they have the fuel on the car, they put the tires and they weight the car on the scales. With the tires. The real weight of the car. It's not related to setup. They, they put these scales to set up the car to, to put the same weight on one side to the other. But whenever it's finished, with all the bodywork and everything gone, they weight the car properly with the tires and the fuel to see if it's exactly as they are they expecting. And then it's go time. Yeah. That's it certainly it. is. It is. Well, Albert, another fantastic tech demo. I absolutely love that, and I'm sure there'll be plenty more insight coming from you. And it's a sustainable one. Oh, it's sustainable as yes, well? Yes, because this is one from last year in... So you're just reusing, <laughs> recycling. So we're reusing, just change the stickers and that's it. Okay. Well, I'm glad. That's what we're after. Uh, Albert, thank you so much. As always, another fabulous tech demo.